All right, so let's get started. We're gonna open up Tasker and create a new task. I'm just gonna name this one Alexa. And go ahead and hit the add button. We're gonna open an app and launch the Alexa app. We're gonna add a new task. This is gonna be a plugin for auto input and create an action. Under configuration, we're just gonna do the easy setup. Here, we're gonna launch the Amazon Alexa app and then go ahead and add that selecting field from auto input. And this takes a few seconds. Then we can go ahead and hit accept and run back into Tasker. And we're going to select the element text with my name and we're going to go ahead and click that. And that will be all for that. Next we can add another plugin for auto input. And this time we're going to basically use some coordinates so that we can click on the uh, keyboard. I found an interesting app or a good app for uh, getting those coordinates using uh, this touch test app. Essentially what I do is just find the coordinates or where the button is on the screen and then tap that similar location inside the touch test application. In this case it's 668 by 1131 for our x, y coordinates, and we'll go back into Tasker and we'll add those. Go ahead and click OK and add that. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we need to actually input our text. So we're going to go in again to Plugins, Auto Input, and this time we're going to select our action is going to be right And we're going to go ahead and do focus because the keyboard should be up by now. And we're going to put in a variable. This is going to be AR message. Uh, this is what uh, Auto Remote is going to uh, send or set as a variable for the message that is sent over its web interface. And the last thing we need to do is actually send it. So again, we're going to go into action. We're going to do it again. We're going to do click on a point. This time we're going to actually click on the little uh, send message icon. So again, using touch test, just finding that. This time it's 690 and 601. And then lastly, setting up the profile, we're going to go into event, and then we're going to do a plugin. Going to go to auto remote. And basically we can just leave all this default because we're going to get the whole message, that whole AR message. Just connect it to the task Alexa and uh, we're done. We can go ahead and test it. All right, so we're going to come over here to the auto remote website and we're going to go ahead and send a message. And as you can see on the Android phone, you can see the message was sent and you might have heard that the echo activated. So now we can ask Alexa. Read messages. One for Keaton Taylor. Do you want to hear it? Yes. From Home Assistant. This is a test message from Auto Remote Web. Received just now. And uh, there we go. So I hope you got something out of this video. Um, don't hesitate to leave any questions or comments you have down below. And uh, thanks for watching.